Hey you kids, and Happy New Year! Today, I'm going to show you how to install Windows NT 4.0 in VirtualBox. So let's begin. First, download VirtualBox. Link in description. Click on the blue button that says New, or press Ctrl N, or if you're on a Mac, Command N. First, type the VM's name. I'll make mine Windows NT 4.0. It should detect the OS as Windows NT 4.0. Click on Next. Select the amount of RAM you want to use. The default is 128 megabytes, but I will make it 256 megabytes. Select the disk size you want to use. I will give it as 2 gigabytes. Click Finish. Click on the orange button that says Settings, or press Ctrl S, or if you're on a Mac, Command S. Click on the Storage tab. Click on the blue CD icon. Click on the blue CD icon with an arrow and click Choose this file. Navigate over to the place where you download the ISO tube. Link for the ISO I use is in the description. For me, it's in my ISOs folder on my desktop. Click OK, then click on the green arrow that says Start. Wait for it to start the setup. Once you see the screen, press Enter. It should detect your virtual IDE CD-ROM drive. Press Enter. If you see the screen, press C. Press Page Down 7 times. Then press F8 or FNF8 to agree to the license terms. If you want, you can also change the computer, display, keyboard, keyboard layout, and pointing device. I'm happy with these settings, so I will just press enter. Press enter to set up windows on the unpartitioned space. You can choose to either format it with the FAT or NTFS file systems. I want to format it with NTFS, so I will press down, then enter. Then, it will format the partition. You can choose which folder to save the files to. I will leave mine at WinNT. Press enter to let set up examine your hard disk, then it will copy files to your hard drive. Before you restart, release your mouse cursor by pressing your host key. Mine is Control alt Go into the Devices tab, Optical Drives, then click Remove Disk from Virtual Drive. Then click back into the VirtualBox window. Press Enter to restart into the GUI portion of Setup. It will start automatically, do some stuff, then restart again. Wait for it to boot. Once you see the screen, release your cursor again and go to Devices, Optical Drives, and then reinsert the ISO. Then click back into the VM and click OK. Click Next. You can choose to set up Windows in four configurations. Typical, portable, compact, and custom. I'll choose typical, so I'll just click next. Type in your name, and if you want, your organization. I'll make my name TOWF and my company TOWF Co. You can either use this product key or use a Windows 95 key generator online. Type in a name for your VM. I'll make mine WinNT4. If you want to, you can set a password. I want to leave it blank, so I will just click Next. I do not want to make an emergency repair disk, so I will select it, then click Next. 
I want to install the most common components, so I will just click next. Click next. If you want, you can connect it to a network. I do not want to do this, so I'll select do not connect the computer to a network at this time. Click finish. Wait for it to configure. Select your time zone. I will select Atlantic Time Canada. You can also set the time if it's not correct. It's correct on mine, so I will click close. It will detect the display as VGA compatible display adapter. Click OK on the pop-up. You can test the virtual display and make sure everything looks good. To do this, click test and then click OK. Then it will show a test picture. If it asks you if you saw it properly, click yes and OK. You can then close the window. After that, it will copy more files, configure your computer to run Windows NT 4.0, set the security on system files, save your configuration, and remove temporary files. Once you see the screen, release your cursor, then click on Devices, Optical Drives, and Remove Disk from Virtual Drive. After that, click back inside of the VirtualBox window, then click Restart Computer. Then, it will reboot. Once you see the screen, press Enter and wait for it to boot up. Then, press your Control alt Dell key combo. By default, it's right control Dell, but on mine, it's control alt D. Enter in the password you set earlier if you have one, then click OK or press Enter. Then, it will bring you to the desktop. Thanks for watching! I hope you're happy with your new Windows NT 4.0 VM. Bye!